Welcome to Yukanic. Today here in Yukanic we have a 2016 Jaguar, but number one we have the 3.0 supercharged engine. And we're going to go over how you would replace the belts and tensioners on this. You've got two serpentine belt, one that does the main belt, it runs your AC, alternator, and water pump on that belt and through a bunch of idler pulleys. And then you have a separate small belt that runs the supercharger portion of it. So to get into this engine to be able to have the access, you're going to want to undo this clamp here, which is an 8 millimeter, and then this clamp over here that's an 8 millimeter. And then we also can pop this cover up and put it to the side. And there is an 8 millimeter bolt down in here so that we can remove this intake portion. Also, this is a 10 millimeter bolt to remove. And so we'll remove that bolt, or you can pull the rubber grommet out, but it's just as easy to remove the bolt. So remove the bolt. Oh, and we got one clamp here that you'll squeeze together on the sides here to undo this vacuum line. Once you do all that, then you can be able to pull this off and this and then just rock that back and forth to remove this out of the way. And now we can see our belts uh, a little better to, to gain the access that we need. Also, just for, just for some more clearance and some more visibility, I'm gonna remove this um, component. This is your intake system. It goes down through here. And so it's just gonna clip on to the sides there. And there was four um, push clips here. So with those components out of the way, we can now have we now have better access to the belt in question. We have a serpentine belt on the back here that goes down around here. It's an idler down to the uh, um, AC compressor, comes around the crankshaft, goes around this tensioner, and then. It goes through here and behind this cut, um, this bracket here is another idler. Then it goes down to the alternator, then comes up to an idler here that then comes over the water pump itself. So that's the back belt, the main belt. Then we have this belt here, which is a double-sided serpentine belt that goes around the supercharger, idler, ter um, tensioner, around the crankshaft, and then another idler right here. So to start with, we're going to need to remove, release the tension and remove the belt. And then we can, we'll remove this tensioner. We'll have to remove this bracket to be able to get this belt out. Well, you might be able to, to fold it out on the other side. We'll see if we can. If not, we'll remove that bracket. And then this tensioner will loosen and get the belt off and we'll go there. Okay, so to remove the tension, you'll need a, um, we need a half inch drive um, ratchet or a special belt. I mean, they have a belt tensioner tool, but. And this tensioner goes in. So just gotta pull the tension off. And then you'll be able to, we remove the belt. And same thing with this one. And this one also rotates in toward the center of the engine. And now you'll be able to work the belt out by removing it. So there's a smooth pulley tensioner that is encased behind this bracket here. 
I was thinking you might be able to. So we'll start with removing this tensioner. Now, let's see if we can uh, get that off. If not, we just gotta undo these bolts, which is a size 16. So we've removed the bolt to gain for that tensioner. And you see how this tensioner has the two pins on it. So if you are replacing the tensioner, you got a new tensioner, or when you put it back on, you'll line those two pins up there, and that way you get the proper tension so that it can tension there. Okay, they've made it with a very tight clearance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bracket off, which is uh, four bolts, three up here that you can see, and one that's down here below where the tensioner is. And then that way we will be able to remove the remainder of this belt. They are size 13. So here is the uh, the bracket that holds one idler on the front, one idler on the back, and this is where that belt goes around. Um, and so you'll need to remove um, the tensioner and then these four bolts to be able to get this bracket off to get the rest of that belt off. So that belt removed, and then you'll remove this tensioner if you when you replace the tensioner. And this one is a 13. And there we go. We've removed the, uh, the other tensioner. We check our pulleys and see that they spin freely. And then same with checking all the other idler pulleys that they spin freely to know if you need to replace any of them. And then, um, so that's the removal of the pulleys on this 3.0 supercharged engine and the, the belts. So we are going over the process of putting on the serpentine belts and the tensioners. There are two serpentine belts, one that's a smooth side, has a, the ribs and smooth, and then one that's a double, um, double rib. So to start with, we've uh, removed it because you want to replace them as well as you're checking your tensioners to see if everything is moving on them properly and then you would replace those if you need be. Also, you would want to check that these spin nice and clean and that they're not loud. But if they were loud, you would just pop this cover off with this small screwdriver and then you would be able to have access to the bolt and remove that. We have a tensioner, we have an idler pulley here, we have an idler pulley there, and then we have another idler pulley down there, as well as two that are on a bracket that goes in there. So if you replace, if you needed to replace those, then we'd put the cap back on to keep the, the dirt and the water out of there to have your um, bearings last longer. So to start with, we're going to put a, uh, we're going to start putting this belt around. Uh, and this is going to be the belt diagram, the way it should look. And so we have the crankshaft, and that's the rib side. Tensioner is smooth side. Idler here, smooth side. Alternator, rib side. Idler is uh, ribbed, water pump ribbed. Another idler over here, ribbed around the AC. And so, we and then this this idler pulley here is on a bracket that's mounted to the engine and so we want to get the belt around the back of that to be able to get 
it ran in the right order. Or we have to have the belt behind there before we attach it to the vehicle because it's very tight to get it back in there. So we'll start with that. So I'm going to start lining out the belt the way it's supposed to go. So I went around the crankshaft, going around the AC compressor, and then there's the tensioner at the top here as well as the water pump and then runs around an idler over here and the AC and then this is where we want to hold the hold our belt like this and be able to mount the bracket that goes on there. So this is the bracket with the ribbed, this is for the other belt, and then the smooth side belt. And so we need that belt to be situated inside there. And then we bring the bracket in place and be able to put the bolts in to tighten it up. Now you're going to have one bolt that's longer than the other three, or the other, there's four bolts total. One is longer. That one goes right here below the water pump. And then the other three are all the same. And we just line those up and start them in. Okay, so those are just slightly snug with the um, with that smaller ratchet. Now we'll make sure we okay. So now we're going to put the tensioner on. You're going to have two different tensioners. I mean, one that's for the uh, other belt, and then you got this belt or this tensioner. This tensioner is a smooth side tensioner, and so that would go on the driver's side of the motor. So, and it's the 13 millimeter bolt, whereas this other side is a 16. Now, because we're going to put the tension on, and we need to line it up with this indent and this hole with these two um, pins here. We're going to take this uh, belt off of the water pump a little bit to give us the extra space we're going to need and then we release the tension on the tensioner as we we finish it up and this also goes toward the belt goes toward the the engine itself and so the pull, the belt is on the back side Tight. Now we're going to take our uh, half inch drive to be able to release the tension. To get the belt around the pulleys. Okay, so now you're going to just fill around, make sure that the belt, and visually check that the belt is in the appropriate ribs on all those pulleys, 
we have that small smooth pulley behind here I want to make sure that it's in the channel of the pulley All right everything seems to be pretty good so that's how you install the first belt on your 3.0 supercharged engine we are putting on the second serpentine belt we put on the first serpentine belt which is your main belt that runs your water pump alternator and AC compressor so that belt has been put on in the tensioner and the bracket that holds everything so now we're going to put on the serpentine belt that's a double ribbed serpentine uh, belt that goes to power the supercharger so we have our tensioner to be put on and so the tensioner you just take tensioner we have this bracket that's bolted to the engine and then we have the tensioner um, pins to line up right here with these two pins and the bolt to install Okay, so that's tightened up. Now we will run the belt. This is the belt diagram for this belt. And this is the belt that runs the supercharger. So we have the supercharger up top. We have the idler, goes on that side, then around the crankshaft, around this tensioner, and around the top of the idler. And that's how it runs. So we will, um, we can start running it around. And then we will need to use our half inch we use our half inch drive. To release the tension. And we want to double check that all the ribs are in the, the proper location of the pulleys. This one on the tensioner pulley is a little bit off, so I'll release the tension again. And then, if that's uh, the remainder of what you're doing, then you'll make sure that you put the uh, air cleaner um, pipe that attaches to your throttle body and the two connections that go to your air box. Also, you'll want to put in this component piece and reattach it to the air box also that was removed for the easeability to work on. Thanks for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.